Your check engine light typically comes on when there is a problem with your emission control system or another computer-controlled system in your vehicle. But if you fix the problem and it's still on, you may be scratching your head wondering what's going on. While something may still be wrong with your vehicle, the odds are very high you just need to reset the light, so breathe easy. You can use one of the below given method to reset your check engine light. Method 1. Use an OBD2 scanner. If you have an OBD2 scanner available, you can reset your check engine light within seconds. When your check engine light is on, connect the scanner to the OBD connector situated under most car model steering portion. Then switch on your car's ignition to the on position. After the connection is established between the computer and the car, press the read button on the scanner to search for all the stored trouble codes. After the scan is complete, note down all error codes diagnosed by the scanner, decode those problems using the user manual of the particular make and model. Once the code is decoded, the problem is detected. Solve that problem, if that part needs to change, then change it, and if it needs to be calibrated, then calibrate it. Method 2. Battery Disconnection Technique The best way to reset the check engine light without a scan tool is by removing the battery terminal for 30 to 60 seconds. This will reset the engine control unit in many car models. First, remove the negative car battery terminal. Then try to drain any available electricity present in the car's capacitor by pressing the horn for around 20 to 30 seconds or turning on the lights. Once the electricity is disconnected, then leave your car for 10 to 15 minutes. After this short time, reconnect the battery terminals, make sure they are well tightened to avoid any possible sparking, and then switch on your car. If your car gives that same check engine light after restarting, then it means there is some serious problem in your car, or your car stores the codes anyway. Method 3. Turning the ignition on and off. Switching the ignition on and off is also one method of hard reset without disconnecting the battery. Put the keys in your ignition and turn your ignition on and off consecutively after a second in each step. Method 4. Add more coolant. The low coolant level is one of the most common causes of check engine light flashing. When your car's coolant level gets down than a specific level, the light starts illuminating and hence displays a warning of low coolant level in your car. In such a situation, you need to refill the coolant. Method 5. Add more transmission fluid. When the transmission fluid level becomes less than a specific level, your PCM turns on the check engine light. Check the transmission fluid of your vehicle and add more fluid if needed. Method 6. Pulling off the fuse and put it back. One way to get your check engine light to turn off is to pull off the engine control unit's fuse and then put it back again. Although this won't solve the problem in newer cars, it may solve the problem in older cars, and it is easy to try. Method 7. Let the check engine light go off itself. Another way to reset the check engine light is to wait and let it go off by itself. It is a straightforward method, you have only to wait and continue driving your car for around 3 days. The car computer works in a continuous cycle and refresh their present state. Remember that you have to make sure that the problem is gone before using this technique. Method 8. Replace the faulty parts. The performance of all the engine parts is continually monitored by the PCM while you drive. When any engine part goes bad, the PCM turns on the check engine light to alert the driver. To turn off the check engine light, you need to replace the faulty engine parts or sensors.